Some things should be said. Or shouldn't. Oh, it's on. With Juan and Sean. Instead of Jazz Radio, we're here at Oh, It's On! With Juan and Sean. And today on episode number 17.5, we're doing a special Wednesday news-like edition because we have a special guest in the studio. Wait, 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 wait. We got a special guest? Special guest. Who's that? It's me. It's him. No way. It's It's Zane Zane from episode number 10. We found Zane. Zane, how are you feeling to be on the show finally? Feels good. I've been pretty busy. I heard uh, your podcast about me. (laughs) I didn't know I'd been doing so much. Do tell us more. Pretty much been sitting on my couch for two months. (laughs) (laughs) That's like, seriously, this coronavirus thing started and then I was like, is Zane going to be like, no, I don't want to go over because I was like at first the first like when they shut down the casinos, I was like, oh, my God, this is serious. But then after a little bit, I was like, OK, this things seem to be a little. Yeah, because our governor, what's his name? Uh, Sissy Lack. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that works. Yeah. When he went on TV and he was like, people are dying. <laughs> people are dying. You may not be dying, but, but it could be somebody's grandma. Dying. Yeah. Somebody's yeah. grandma dies every day. Sissy Lack. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, exactly. So Zane's here. We met Zane uh, at college. Yeah, at the Art Institute. Film school. And he wasn't a film school student, and he was the best in our video class. <laughs> Always. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, dang it, what? The-? I dropped out. <laughs> yeah. Well, we we all did. Yeah. <laughs> you did first though. Yeah, I was. Uh, mm-hmm. So so uh, we're here. And then I followed after I heard the instructor tell me, "You got to start at the bottom." I go, "What does that mean?" Grab a broom and start sweeping. That's the bomb. Like, wait a minute. I'm paying this fucking school. <laughs> now we gotta yeah. go sweep. <laughs> and to sweep a fucking floor. Yeah. Fuck you. Yeah. I dropped out. I was an audio student and got a D on a painting because the water wasn't <laughs> blue enough. <laughs> and I still have that painting. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the shit we go through just to <sighs> just to be able to to get a job to pay us what we're not really worth. That was like a level one painting. Yeah. Level one painting, day one of college. Here's and you, a and you, you missed the good days when that class became a pass or fail. <laughs> that class became a, you either pass or you don't. That's how it was, dude, with me. Oh. Only, oh. I think four people four people passed that, that semester. And the only reason I did, I was like the fourth person because I got like minus two points on whatever final he gave us. So he pulled me aside and was like, I think I annoyed him enough. Yeah. He goes, if you can answer these two questions right, you'll, you're good to go to the next one. <laughs> so I did, and then I, I got sent along. Nice. On my way. Yeah. What was that teacher's name? I'm not going to say it on the podcast. Okay. But I know, he had that lazy Delilah? Oh! <laughs> oh! <laughs> Fuck that guy! <laughs> I mean, thank you. Do, wait, hold on. Do I need to cut that out? I don't know. No. I mean... We didn't say it. Yeah, and it's one name, so. Yeah. It's one name. I mean. I didn't know I wasn't allowed to say names. Oh, I just wasn't going to. Oh. <laughs> it's one of those things where it's like, you, now you can now just say allegedly. Allegedly. All right, so we're good. He gave me a D. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so so we're here to talk about some news because we figured that'd be a good way to introduce Zane. Our first news story is entitled Islamic State Extremists step up as Iraq and Syria grapple with the virus. So, (laughs) so this, I read this story and I was like, dang, people are jerks. So Abu Ibrahim al Hashimi al Qari Shari, sorry, is the new leader of ISIS. And these attacks have stepped up due to his leadership. Uh, Attacks have gone up from about one to a week to about 20 a month since the coronavirus has gotten out. Man, that coronavirus is a bitch. <laughs> really is a bitch. Yeah. It's a real bitch cuz my god, I mean, it's it's Yo. hindered our it's hindered our military. Mm-hmm. I mean, we can't really do anything cuz if we get sick we're going to die. It's like, it's like having a flu, but you know. But um uh, Going over there. I heard, like, only really the old people are going to die. So, I mean, like, you yeah. get it, you'll get better, but you're fucking but sick not, aunt. But not the Islamic state, because they don't believe in our culture. They mm-hmm. believe in Allah. <laughs> well, they can just sweat it out out in the desert. As Muhammad is their prophet. So, yeah, this coronavirus does not affect them. So, they're able to, to 
advance with their terrorist attacks. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just saddened that we are so hindered by this coronavirus. The first suicide bomber in months attacked on the first week of Ramadan. Most complex attack in years involved a three-prong attack, killing 10 militia fighters. In Syria, this, this article is long, so I'm giving you the bullet points. In it was Syria, very long. In Syria, attacks on citizens, security forces, forces, and oil fields have increased. Deputy Prime Minister of the Kurdish region says, I didn't write his name down because it's hard to say. Sorry. <laughs> says attacks of the estimated 3,000 Islamic State fighters will attack Baghdad soon. Prisoners are escaping from Syria to fight in Iraq. Islamic State is capitalizing on disputes between the Kurds and Iraqi government. Coalition forces are pulling out attacks on their hideouts in the mountains and a reduction of 50% by Iraqi's military, Iraq's military due to coronavirus. On April 9th in Syria, Sukhna government, I think it's Sukhna, Government positions were attacked by ISIS, ISIS, and the Syrian government responded with reinforcements and Russian airstrikes. So, this is my favorite part. Well, it's not good because people died, but my favorite part is they had Russian airstrikes, and they only killed six more people than the fighters killed. <laughs> 26 Syrian government forces died, and 32 Islamic State fighters died. Um, Kurdish forces can't operate in some Iraqi government controlled territory leaving villages insecure and the moral of the story for me is why are we trying to save these people still it's like you said Juan they've been fighting for like 2,000 years and they're still fighting my brain just went these people need to chill out <laughs> exactly maybe they need the coronavirus <laughs> But the beautiful <laughs> thing about this uh, this article is that it basically says, like, well, you know what? Out here, there's clans. And uh, with these clans, they talk to each other. So when they say, I'm going to fuck you over, and they're like, no, you're not, because now we're going to join this side. But then this side says, oh, you guys sucked. And they're like, oh, yeah, well, guess what? We're going to go back to this side. And so that's how they know when these attacks are going to be happening. And people are dying. You really don't know who the fuck... Is your ally there? That's yeah. why down there it's like everybody is your fucking enemy. Everybody. The moment you put on a freaking uniform and you go to a foreign country, they are your enemy. They do not see you as, hey, they're going to liberate us. No, because they don't have the same news media. They don't have the same fucking TV that we yeah. have. All they have is like their family saying, they're here to hurt us, and they're going to kill us. So grab a gun, son, and fight for your freedom. Freedom is relative. How does that song go? Freedom is free. It costs folks like you and me. <laughs> so you better be ready to fork up that buck fire. <laughs> Thank you, Team America. Zane's been pretty quiet about this. What do you have? Do you have anything? If you don't have anything, Zane, it's cool. This is his first time here. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. No. So I started. I th I started off with the coronavirus story because we have to talk about the coronavirus, kind of. Coronavirus can suck it. Yeah. So the rest of the story, the news here is mostly without coronavirus. Our next story: Blue Planet Mars looks unrecognizable in NASA image. The Mars Reconnaissance Orbiter took pictures showing Mars under blue tones. Sedimentary rock make lighter blues. Sand covering the lighter toned bre breccia uh, or a disorganized array of darker blues. So I didn't know what breccia was until I watched this video. And so what do you guys think of Mars being blue? <laughs> I thought Uranus was blue. <laughs> but thank God for the uh thank God for our great president Donald Trump who created the United Space Force. Yeah, dude, Space Force. Space Force. So, so uh, you know, now that we have the United Space Force and we're gonna dominate space, especially against these uh alien invasions that keep like visiting us, but will not make contact with us because they see our nature. 
they see how much destruction damage we can cause. So they're like, fuck, when these fucking humans catches us, dude, we're going under that fucking table. Yeah. Did you guys talk about the UFO the Pentagon released? Oh, oh. I saw a headline on that. Is What I is that? That was the coronavirus. Ooh. <laughs> the aliens brought it. Oh, yeah. That's, oh, my God. So, you know that Marvel Puzzle Quest game that you hate? Yeah, you still play it? Not as much anymore. <laughs> I still play it. Yes. Okay. <laughs> so, yeah. Until, dude, this coronavirus messed up the game. Because, so, you you know, you, you open those tokens and you get characters. It's like any game, any loot box. You might get the good one, but you might not. And at the beginning of this coronavirus, I started playing more because I'm sitting at home in my underwear all the time. And... I started getting a lot more of these tokens because I was playing more and doing better. So I stocked them up and then new characters came out and I'm like, all right, I'm going to open them and get these new characters open. No, open. No, open. No. Dude, I've opened so many tokens and have not gotten these new characters. It's, and then they released a five-star character just like a few weeks ago. And now they're releasing another one. And they used to be like two or three months apart. So they're like stressing for money too. Dude. I'm sorry. No, I'm sorry. But on top game, of that, it's like no. You know, I'm just you surprised know. you've been getting screwed by this game yeah. for like what six I, years no, now. Hold on. <laughs> no. The reason the reason I played it is because it's the only mobile game that I can be competitive at that I haven't had to put money into. Have nice. you put money into it? Well, I've put some dollars, but I've, I've it's I played enough where I'm like I'll put some dollars in it, but I'm not gonna put three hundred dollars. Or some games want two hundred dollars at a time. Yeah, I have seen that. I'm not gonna do that. But one thing but, it did bring a point. It's like, um, oh my god, I, it's like I used to wear boxers, but now I, briefs, I, boxers, oh. boxer briefs. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> but now Sean said underwear. I started wear. I started wearing um, you know, underwear briefs, and I you're going made, like the small ones, and it makes me feel very European. My fucking dad wears those, and it's weird, man. <laughs> Don't ask me why. I've seen them no, in him. But, but, <laughs> No, but the, at least your but, dad wears underwear. <laughs> once you wear them, you feel kind of European. Yeah, you feel like you're naked, but you're not. You were mad at me one time for wearing like cut off jeans. I'm mad at you for wearing tidy whities. <laughs> <laughs> That's a difference because tidy whities. It's like what's in there? The hey, old I jeans. made those. <laughs> Welcome to the OS on yeah. podcast, where we say controversial things like. I wear white underwear <laughs> and tidy whities, and I hate you for it. <laughs> but now it's like I feel European. It's like I could go up to my upper deck on my roof and walk around, not feel, you know, not feel like, oh my god, look at that guy with his big dong hanging. <laughs> Dude, the smaller the underwear, the bigger the package. Exactly, yeah. it's true. That's why it's it's facts. That, yeah, but the only problem I got to get rid of this fat belly I have. All right, so we went from talking about <laughs> Mars. Oh yeah. <laughs> So we'll move on to the next topic. Oh, and I wanted to say, I'm going, so there's everybody on this Marvel Puzzle Quest Facebook group. Everybody's complaining. Everybody's just complaining. And I, I'm coming up with like a Marvel character, like a comic character myself that I'm actually going to like paint my face and I'm going to be. Oh my God. Space. It's going to be like one of those, like, uh, like from Marvel comics, the new warriors, like safe space. No, and snowflake. No, that's not. I'm going to be a space pirate. But or what about the new uh the new no. X Men that's dealing that deals with today's uh troubles instead of fighting villains you're fighting you know cyber bully from the new X Men because the no. new Zoomers you know they buy these comics <laughs> called no. Zoomers the Zoomers you know like the new Zoomers the new kids of today's yeah yeah the I ones did. that you know they'll take your their no life. I like that. Zoomers. That's what they're called. They're just as annoying as the boomers. They're just little. Yeah. <laughs> Are they? <laughs> Jeez. Okay. Hold on. And they can relate to the new gay Alfred in the new uh, Batman series. Dude, my little sisters yeah. are Zoomers. They drive me bananas. <laughs> and they eat them too because they're all vegans. <laughs> there she is. <laughs> yeah. So the next story. Zane prob is probably going to be the only one that can comment on this. Asante Samuel, do you know who that is? <laughs> no. Uh, <laughs> no. Thinks Tom Brady, do you know who that is? Yes. Got fed up with the Patriot way. Asante Samuel thinks Tom Brady got tired of Belichick's no nonsense, no fun, unquote, approach and 
quote, got tired of the inner circle things, unquote. Got tired of some inner circle things. Samuel also thinks Brady wasn't happy with some player choices Belichick made. Brady wasn't happy about Antonio Brown getting released from the Patriots. Belichick has, Be- like, said he didn't even want Tom Brady on his team before. <laughs> so, Are you serious? I hate both of them, yes. They, they've been together for decades because almost. Because he had to be. Oh, well, maybe he wanted receivers and tight ends to stay with him. Now that Tom Brady's you know, old, just, just, he wants to have some uh, fun. He wants to go out and party. Why do you think he went to Florida? He's going to go. Yeah. He's going to have a great time. Hate Cause him. Because he, he wishes he could have played with a Warren Sapp. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. I forgot <laughs> he did play there. A while back. Back when I was a fan of football. What's a bigger annoying story? What's that? Was the Rob Gronkowski. Oh, yeah. Did you hear about that? Did you see him at WrestleMania? Yeah, he's super annoying. But dude, he, he <laughs> retired from football, so we didn't have to go play for a different team. <laughs> what if <laughs> fucking crybaby? Yeah. Fucking, let it out. Just let it out. Yeah. yeah. And, no, then, and then Tom Brady comes back. He's like, oh, I'm out of retirement. I'm going to play for Tampa Bay. <laughs> well, he was so bad at pro wrestling. Yeah. yeah. He's just like, uh, I can't do this anymore. Pro wrestling is the only real sport happening in the world right now. Hashtag yep. the best sport. It's still happening, and thanks for calling it a sport. It's the best sport? Dude. You, they show you, highlights on ESPN? Sport? <laughs> <laughs> That's true. <laughs> oh, God. And uh, it's Fox. Every, it's on Fox Sports, too. That's what I'm saying. Every sport. Okay, so this next topic is, and here's what I'm going to do. So it's the 18 of, don't pull this one up. Have you looked at it yet? I've looked at it, yeah. Oh, well, well you still have to give it. <laughs> you still have to give genuine reactions. Okay. So it's the 18 of the best movies that are coming to streaming in May, and I, I <laughs> he already hates them. So the first, so I'll say it first. This article sucked because some of the movies did they didn't even say what platform. It just said, "Hey, it's going to be on streaming." So I thought, I thought I tried these to, were going to be on Netflix. I'm starting to panic no. about how many streaming services I'm paying for right no. now. I'm time. paying for just as much as cable. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, and but you told me about Pluto TV. You've been using it. I've used it You've a been little using bit. Using YouTube TV. Some. I have it back. Yeah. Yeah. I got a broken some, stick. It's good to get because the because you get every movie on there almost. Epics gave that free month. Oh no, I saw that. Appreciate. Yeah, it's pretty. Sweet. Okay, so. Okay, on Netflix, what do you... Okay, Zane, you're going to go first. Juan, you're going to go second. All right. I need three words after I say the name of the movie. So it's like that psychological test where they see the ink blot. Yeah, what do you see here? Yeah, but I'll say a movie and you give me three words each. Like what the title should be or what it's about? No, just what's your first feeling. Oh, your, okay. How the movie makes okay, you feel. Okay, okay, okay. All right. Willy Wonka in the Chocolate Factory. Weirdos. <laughs> <laughs> Have you even seen it? <laughs> what? what version? The original. Oh yeah, oh yeah. I give it a plus. Okay. Uh, <laughs> the next movie on Netflix: Ace Ventura: Pet Detective. Hilarious. Loved it. Next one: Back to the Future. Overrated. Ooh. It's a fucking great movie. Ooh. Zane, pro point or negative point. Back in the future. I don't know. I don't like it. <laughs> I like it. No. Okay. It's not that I don't not like it. It's just, it's like, I think it just reminds me of like, the first time I saw it was I was at this like Mormon family's house. Oh. And it, it got tainted oh, so for me. So was that incest so then, feeling that wasn't Yeah. Right. Now I just like feel like I'm at some like creepy weird Mormon house again. And I'm like, Ugh. Okay. Because I mean, that movie did touch up on incest. I mean. Here, yeah, you know, dude. you go back to the like future, kisses his mom. and all of a sudden yeah. it's like, yep. fuck, mom, you're hot. And, you know, you're a teenage, some hormones, you're like, well, it's, it's in the past. And I know I, my, 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 I know I'm not my own father who fathered me. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, but then again, a, but you, then again, the dad she did marry, he's a beta male. So maybe I was the one that conceived my own self. That's bananas. I, th- I think when you, you imagine, just imagine you're like, fuck, I have to live. Gotta bang my hot mom. <laughs> Bummer. Dude. You know what I like is hot tub time machine. <laughs> <laughs> when he has to bang the guy's sister for the one guy to stay alive. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, those, those, I enjoyed those movies. Dude, they're both great. <laughs> oh yeah. 
Well, yeah, but I mean, if you had like break it down, because now that Zane series you know, broke it down towards like Mormonism. Yeah. Like, so okay, yeah, I'll take it back. Okay. <laughs> Good movie. Yeah, <laughs> it, it's a good American movie. So the last one on Netflix that I could find was, did you know? Okay, Jarhead. My dad. <laughs> okay. It was garbage. Ooh, that is coming from a marine. My dad probably hates it then. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> so did, okay, hold on. There was Jarheads one, two, and three. I didn't even know there was a two or a three. Yeah, there was, but like I think like the second one was with uh, the guy who played like Anakin Skywalker. And then I think oh, Hayden, Hayden Christensen? Christensen. Yeah, and then the third one. I think Ooh, was, was like, he like whiny in that one too? <laughs> yeah, probably. <laughs> <Dude. so>. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, the best part about Hayden Christensen it was like your hair feels like sand. <laughs> like that when he was trying to sweet talk Natalie Portman, I was like, oh, I don't like God. this place. It was it's so sand. horrible. It's all over the place. Princess Padme. Padme, yes. <sighs> yeah, she looked good in that movie. Karen I Knightley. Do her. Even if I was a Jedi, I'd be like, fuck. There were two of her, remember? She had like the. Oh, yeah. <laughs> there were oh. two of her. <laughs> okay, so the next set of movies are on Hulu. I just Hulu. got Hulu back. Oh. Holy streaming king. I know. So. Problem. Batman Begins and The Dark Knight. Good. <laughs> you should just, I was gonna say his eyes look like they're like, like when Brick, Ricky's brain starts short circulating. That's what his so eyes are felt, looking like. <laughs> yeah, to me those are good movies. I like those. I don't think there's a Batman movie I don't like. Not even with. Oh my god! Even with Val Kilmer, Val Kilmer one's great. You know the George was, Clooney one is the best one. You want to know why? Why oh, is that? It's the only one where his nipples show. Well, yeah. <laughs> It was my yeah. fucking it was directed by a gay guy Joel Schumacher. Well, he has nipples in the suit, dude, and I love it. Uh, <laughs> Nipple Batman. Those, those movies were like hilarious. They were horrendous. So, if you love nipples, you might like the next Hulu movie, The Graduate. Never seen it. Uh, I've never seen it either. Do you know what it's famous for? Yeah, because it's like a. It's that um. <laughs> it's the one with the where he gets schooled by this one little teacher, and then they start making out. There would have been so many like. Rip-offs off of that movie yeah. from The Graduate, so especially the it, one with Tia Carrera. It's like a student-teacher make-out sesh. Yeah. Especially Mrs. Robinson. the best one was like Tia Carrera with this other dude, because she gets naked, and that was like, oh, my God, Tia Carrera. Little Asian, nice titties. Uh, mm. uh, I didn't know she got naked anywhere. Oh, that one, yeah, you should watch it. Uh-oh. What <laughs> movie is it? It was, God, it was like the same thing. <laughs> oh, I uh, thought this was The Graduate you were talking no, about. No. no, this one had Dustin Hoffman in it. Oh! <laughs> this is from, oh, like, 67. Dude, I, I'm gonna go off sidetrack. Have you watched that pandemic movie with Dustin Hoffman? Yeah, I hit dude. He's the worst, but that's a great movie. It what? is Contagion. What is it called? I just watched it a couple. Outbreak. Outbreak. Oh, Outbreak. Oh, I've seen yeah. Outbreak. I was watching the movie and I'm like this movie's so good, but Dustin Hoffman sucks so bad. <laughs> like, was on that radio. Was like, you fly in the plane. I know you're you're designed. You've been trying not to listen, but but right now we have the cure. You have to listen. He's just like this weird little awkward like big nose weirdo guy. Like, <laughs> and he got Cuba Gooding Jr. Dude. He, was like, that was oh like a, yeah. Yeah. That was like I guess that was like one of his best performances because he goes, hold on, sir. And it's like you could tell the camera just flipped, and it's like the director was like, "Okay, now you guys are gonna do a loop de loop. So look forward and look back." Is that when they're in the helicopter? Like, yeah, they go <laughs> forward, and then they both go back, and the camera just does the movement so, for can you, them. Can you fly a helicopter? Not very well, sir. <laughs> Pro. <laughs> like, oh, I'm gonna have to. I saw that movie like when it came out in theaters. Dude, rewatch it and tell me how much you hate. Dustin Hoffman. Okay. But dude, that movie is still It's a great. good movie. No, it's a great I'll, movie. I'll do it for... It is because it really shows what, hey, well, fuck, we can't contain this virus. It's fucking... And dude, dude if coronavirus see. was anything like whatever virus that was, I don't want it. <laughs> yeah. Is that the one where the it starts off with the monkeys in the beginning? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. I'll do it for movies are dumb sometimes. It's a good one. So the last movie on Hulu that they listed... If you had... <laughs> <laughs> no, it's not... <laughs> <laughs> I want to make a movie called <laughs> like how do you spell that? U H G G H G G U H G H G G. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so what was the next movie? The next movie is The Sands of Iwo Jima, starring Juan's hero. First thoughts? I've never seen it. 
I need to watch it if you're here. That's only Clint Eastwood, right? Oh, I thought it was John Wayne. Maybe John oh, Wayne no, no. Okay, okay, Clint I'm sorry. Clint Eastwood oh. is a Letters of Iwo Jima, something like that. Yeah. But Sands of Iwo Jima with fucking uh, John Wayne. Come on, you filthy little bastards. He actually didn't say that. <laughs> Come on, pilgrims. <laughs> so, yeah, more. Yeah. I haven't but, seen uh, that one either. I figured it's an older movie, too. It's really old, but you I'll know what? It. It's actually good because uh, it actually shows what, like, man, we're supposed to be like. Not oh, like yeah. these beta males. <laughs> Not like these like beta males. It's like a woman said something's like, shut up, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> Fighting a fucking war. Not like today Dude, is like not on. like today where Side it's track. like you know, where people is like, Shut up, bitch. Don't you dare say that to her. I don't care if you're fighting for our freedom. Don't you dare talk to her that way. You better not. Dang. And that's when all of a sudden one just comes up and just Oh here's back slap. <laughs> Shut up, little man. <laughs> All right. So Amazon Prime was the oh, this was the only movie that was mentioned for them and I'm really interested to hear Juan's response. They're only getting one movie? No, they got a couple, but the it was this article like I said sucked mm. because they were just like these movies are coming to streaming but they didn't say where to get them. Uh Amazon Prime now has Rocket Man. So I tried to watch it. Holy three words. Go ahead though. <laughs> You tried to watch it. I feel like I had to watch it when I was younger. I don't know. One. Gay. <laughs> <laughs> That's like that. Yeah. I'm not into musicals. I think, oh, that... the, I think the only musical I was into was Grease. Because at least freaking <laughs> Danny in that movie... Wait. Wait, 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 wait. Rocket Man. That's the new one that came out, right? With yeah. Elton John. Yeah. Oh, okay. That so, dude, musical. Okay, I lied. I, I watched the first scene in this movie, and it made me shut it off. What was the first scene? So, it's like him sitting there doing something. He's all, I'm an alcoholic. I smoke too much weed. I do pills. I'm a bulimic, and I do all this stuff. And all of yeah, a sudden, they just started like singing, and I was like, guy. this is too much for me, man. Yeah. We all have problems. He really sounded like a Twinkie. He didn't sound as bad as I just made it. <laughs> no, no. It, he was a lot, lot, lot worse. It's like a real twink in that movie. But it was like did, total social dresses, like SJW whiny Twitter girl. Did, yeah. Juan, did you did you watch the whole movie? No, I had to like turn it off because the moment I thought it was going to be like a like a documentary of like, okay, uh, who Elton John was. But instead, it was a fucking musical. I was like, all right, I'd just rather watch that musical Glee where the, the guy commits suicide because he's a real drug addict, and everybody's like, oh, he was a hero. And to me, those kind of people I don't respect. Dude, Ellen John's not even dead yet. You shouldn't get a movie until you die. <laughs> when you need money, you might make it a movie. You think he needs uh. money? He has a Vegas show. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> I, I know he's been bankrupt, though. Well, in the movie, though, his manager takes advantage of him and takes his anus. Dude, sw- takes advantage of his <laughs> anus? Dude. That hey. sex scene in that movie. What I, 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 well, <laughs> Shannon's what? dad told me it lasts way too long. <laughs> it was, uh, I was like, and, I'm, I'm like, okay, I'm not. From the last uh, last episodes that we filmed, what did I say about Harvey Weinstein and the devil? If you want to party <laughs> with the elites, you got to give up the ass. Yeah. Yep. That's very true. So the next movie, which this, ep- it's on epics. Which was not mentioned in this article, so you're hearing it from. Oh, but I thought you were gonna mention the movies that were mentioned in the article. Oh no, all the no, the, all the movies are mentioned in the article, but they didn't say where they were streaming at. Okay, the, but are, are you still mentioning the movies in the article? Yeah, yeah, these okay. are all movies in the article. This movie is in the article, but it's on Epics, which you're hearing from us, not from the article. The hustle. Hustle, good. <laughs> Did you see it? No. <laughs> the fucking hustle. What? It's yep. the one with Rebel Wilson and Anne Hathaway. Never heard of it. Oh, they're both con artists, and Rebel Wilson is like the bad con artist. She's like low time, but Anne is that Hathaway's... the one with Smil- Will Smith and Robbie? No, no. Did you Never see it? You didn't either. see it? No. Oh. What year it was, was this movie? It was just it came out last year. It came out last year. Yeah, I saw it in the theater. It wasn't too bad. Every movie in the theater. Wait, wait, <laughs> yeah, I know. wait, wait. Okay, okay. Oh, so it's that a month. Okay, so it's that fat chick and the skinny girl. Yeah. Oh, oh. That now, now one knows what it is. Yeah, okay. It's the fat chick and the skinny girl. There I you can't go. Even picture these actresses in my head right now. Who is it? Anne Hathaway. Yeah, she's. Oh my god, that's the skinny one, dude. Yeah, she's you, hot, you remember dude. Remember our video teacher, the one with the Mickey Mouse ears. 
Yeah. He, uh, one time he mentioned in class, he was like, oh, and this movie has Anne Hathaway. And then he just started smiling, and I could feel like his erection it's go. A creepy boner. Yeah, and <laughs> I, I was like, you know what? I what? could tell. I could tell the which room movie got a little more dense. I could tell what. <laughs> I could tell you which movie that was. What? And that name of that movie was Havoc. Havoc, yeah. Havoc, <laughs> Havoc, because she gets naked in that movie. It's like, mm. and then she like she throws she throws a chill off. It's like, no, I don't want to do this anymore. So she tries to grab her friend, and the moment she walks in, her friend she's getting tag teamed, DP'd in that movie. Havoc. But the hustle's kind of funny. I, I I don't think that everybody should go see it, but it it has its moments. We'll say that. So, on Prime, uh, these movies were not mentioned in the these movies were mentioned on the article, but not on Amazon Prime. Race for Your Life, Charlie Brown. Great I'll kids watch movie. It. <laughs> <laughs> okay, never seen it. <laughs> uh, great kids movie, really great. Is that new? No, no, this no, it's is like old. from the 70s. Yeah, it's like a really okay, kid's okay. movie. Uh, this movie, I couldn't find what it's on. I think because of that movie, uh, where uh, I think that's where uh, the movie called Meatballs took his took the uh, what do you call it, inspiration from. So Meatballs, the one with the but they're like in a raft going down the yeah, little yeah. raft. Uh, fucking uh, is it Meatballs? Is that the name of the movie? I don't know. Where it's like a raft race. They're having like a raft race. I've never seen that one either. It's pretty good, dude. A lot of TNA in it. A lot of TNA. <laughs> Sweet. <laughs> the Curious Case of Benjamin Button. Backwards. Oh. Uh, I'm not into English I films. I thought you loved ba- Brad Pitt. I'm not into English films. Is it an English film? He just lives his life backwards. Can you imagine? Yeah. Would that be awesome or would that suck? I've never seen it. You get all the old gross parts out of the way at the beginning. <laughs> Can you imagine like reverse <laughs> pubertying though? Damn. You're oh, like, dude. you're like, you're fucking like 17, horny, 16, totally horny. like full horny ready to go on the next day. You're 10. Yeah. <laughs> and then really? you're just like, well, I mean, not next day, but you know, yeah. Six and you years just later. Wa- and you just want to check out the movie. Then. No, the, no. Cause you're not going to want it anymore, but all the girls still probably do. <laughs> and you're like, well, I'm 10. <laughs> all the, so. no, it'd be sweet because then you could really take advantage of the school Nobody teachers. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh Yeah. <laughs> That depends, though. That depends. That really depends if your school teachers were hot or not. Because going through yeah. grade school and all that is like all old and pruny. I was like, ugh. Yeah. But I do. T- I still do remember oh, no. one TA. He was just this young, busty blonde. I would just sit there. I still remember it was like in third grade. I was just like looking. I was like, mm. <laughs> what is she wearing down there? I've been rewatching. <laughs> I've been rewatching South Park in the episode where they get a hot teacher with mom the other day, <laughs> and the <laughs> smiles they draw on their face is so funny. <laughs> so, Goodfellas. I just watched that like three days ago. That was a good movie. I do like it, especially when it's like That's all I could think. He's like, "Was it <laughs> funny? Do I have fucking clowns on me?" No, no, that's not what I'm saying. So oh, Italians, Joe Pesci's not a badass. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> he's a five foot two mini man. <laughs> yeah, with a gun. He's maybe. a comedian that talks about it, and it's hilarious. <laughs> Who is the comedian? I don't know. I wish I knew, uh, but I know it makes fun of Joe Pesci. <laughs> Escape from Alcatraz. That's a Clint Easter one. Cold, very cold. That one's on Prime if you want to watch it, and it wasn't mentioned in the article, so we're badass. The Conjuring. Scary. Scary. Yeah. Movies that was a good one. Yeah. yeah. That yeah. For what? I was like, fuck, a scary movie that came out. That actually scary. Yeah. So this is a side note. This movie wasn't mentioned in the article, but I went to this movie and I loved it because I, I, my expectations were pretty low, but it's on Hulu and it's called The Art of Self-Defense. False. Fucking... Make sure to bring a gun. Jiu-jitsu? Make sure to bring a gun to a fist fight. <laughs> yeah. Did you see it? No. Zane? Oh, Zane. There. Oh, dude, it's on Hulu. You gotta watch it's it. It's fucking great. It's a okay. dark comedy, and it's slow for a little while, but it builds up. It's one of those slow build movies. But yeah, I was like, it actually. You know what? For once, this movie actually it, it focused made you care about what the fucking character. The beta male. It made you care about this guy that, you know, he came from like a fucking beta male to the shit that happened to him. And all of a sudden it's like, 
at the end. Does he become an alpha? He finally becomes. Becomes a big dog. He becomes a big dog because he meets his biggest challenge. Where it's like, well, there's only one way to take care of this. And he does it. Yeah. I was like, so it's somebody from going to yeah. B to A, huh? B oh, to yeah. Alpha. I didn't know that was possible. I didn't either until I saw the movie. I was like, <laughs> yeah. wow, this is like the best movie to see. <laughs> You're a little alpha who, male. Who, has, who needs to see the movie, Juan? Angel, Brile. <laughs> just pulled out a list. Um, Freaking Tommy. <laughs> Jeez. Oh, fuck. Fucking every cast from fucking Ben JJ. Don't forget, we also got Jason, Mark, Bradley, Simon, and uh, who's the other guy? Jimmy? <laughs> I don't know. So, <laughs> Jimmy Crackhorn? So, <laughs> so, that was the end of that. So, go see The Art of Self-Defense. It was pretty enjoyable. So, we got two more articles. We'll kind of skim through them because this is it's longer with three people. So, or we just call it off from there. Uh, but we got to talk about the murder hornets because that's the big deal right now. Like I said, like I was excited. I was like, oh, my God, finally a story that people need to hear. But then people started posting it on social media. And I'm like, oh, I'm not, not going to. Have crack. you seen how big those fuckers are? Two inches. Dude, I heard Two that. Two fucking inches, dude. You just open your fingers. <laughs> Two fucking inches. <laughs> Almost the size of my fucking little finger. So I heard that the only reason we know they're here is because somebody saw them. Like nobody's caught one yet. Nobody's done anything. They just saw one. What if they just saw a big normal wasp? Ted McFall, a beekeeper in Washington State, found a bee colony. Exactly. That's the guy who was like fucking talking about it. Okay. Okay. But but you got to you got to say it's dramatic, Sean. You got to say it dramatically. A beekeeper in Washington State. Found a bee colony of thousands of bees with their heads ripped off. No, Boom. it's got to go like this. Boom. What was his name? Ted McFall. So Ted McFall is walking down towards his uh, bee colony. Out of nowhere, he realizes it. As he looks to his left, to his right, he sees headless bodies. Hundreds of headless bodies on the ground. Thought. Shock. Comes to his mind. What the, what the fuck? Murder He's looking murder. around. He's like, as he runs towards the beehives, and what does he see? Chaos, disaster. Inside that beehive, hundreds and hundreds of headless bees, bodies destroyed, fucking hives damaged. Thousands. Thousands. <laughs> but the funny thing is, is that it's only conjecture that a, a hornet, murder hornet did this. But let me so, keep going here. So wait, he didn't see him is no. what he said. No. So that's what I'm saying. So Hold somebody on. just. Okay. Let me keep going here. Uh, so what the queen does, the queen hornet bee or hornet, murder hornet, rips off the heads and takes the thoraxes back to her young. That's, that's how they eat. Their poisonous stinger is long enough to penetrate a beekeeper suit. And it feels like hot metal driving into the skin. Dude, I watched Coyote Peterson take a hit. <laughs> <laughs> it does not look fun. I I gotta watch that. Still. He said it was like worse than the tarantula hawk. Oh, which is another massive bug that can hurt you. My brain just short circulated because you said tarantula hawk. Yeah, dude. I think that was number one on his stinger list. Oh, jeez. And I think the murder wasp beat it. Well, f- fifty people die a year in Japan from this hornet. Chris Looney. <laughs> This, he's a doctor. <laughs> he has a doctorate. His hey, name Dr. is Dr. Looney. Looney. <laughs> An entomologist from Washington State. Uh, Department of Agriculture says that if the Asian giant hornet can't be wiped out in the next couple years, it's going to be here to stay. Dude. Is that The hornet has a cartoonishly fierce face featuring teardrop eyes like Spider-Man. Origin black stripes that extend down its body like a tiger. Was this found on like the East Coast or the West Coast? Washington State. Oh, dude, we're fine. No, they say this. The climate here in Vegas is too hot for it. Oh, so well, they won't be here. Great thing I'm moving to Utah, where <laughs> infested with wasps. Some have been found in Canada. On Ve- okay, this story, this this. Oh my God, this guy is an idiot. So they know he's he. This, okay, I'm. My brain's farting. Vancouver Island, off of Vancouver, Canada. 
an entomologist uh, put on sweatpants <laughs> underneath his bee suit because he found a hive and he was going to exterminate the hive. So he thought, oh, I'll just put on sweatpants underneath my bee suit and I'll be good. Turns out that didn't work. He received seven stings, but he put it, he pumped it full of carbon dioxide and killed or monoxide and killed all of the bees in the hive. Uh, well, that was a little small price to pay for just seven stings. Yeah, yeah. Well, because usually isn't like <laughs> isn't like their fucking bite like like more dangerous because they they're like really actually ripping into There's you. There's poison in it. There's poison in it, dude. They they can sting and bite. Yeah, if you oh, get a sorry. if they you get they attacked can sting more than once, if you get attacked by a swarm of them, you can die. Because so like how strong snake. is your body from getting squeezed to death? What what? <laughs> <laughs> like if I see a fucking fly and stings me and I fucking smack it as I grab it and I just squeeze so fucking hard. I bet you'd kill it, but it's gonna sting your hand probably twice. Yeah. On top of your leg it already stung. But I'll manage to like kill it one squeeze, right? Yeah, hopefully. Or or I'm gonna or am I gonna be like those people are like, no, just swatting away, hoping that my little swat will <laughs> smack little swat. it. Away. Yeah, no. <laughs> <laughs> with, that, with that whole bug armor they have. Yeah. Dude, they're like skeletons on the outside of them. What are you doing? Yeah. <laughs> Hey, you know, you know what I think is scary about these things? They can fly up to twenty miles per hour, dude. Damn, fuck you know, that. Okay, so you know what? This gives me a reason not to make a fucking how to kill these damn freaking hornets videos. Where now I'm gonna do on my video? I'm just gonna hang out like a lot of bunch of little pieces of like two by two paper. Oh, well, actually, like two inches. How, how big are they? Two inches by an inch. These uh, wide? They're two inches long. I don't know how wide they are. Oh no, okay. Inch, probably like. Half well, no, nah, because if it's like two inches, they're putting oh, their fingers together. Yeah, dude, that probably <laughs> is about an inch wide. <laughs> yeah, so let's just say about two inches by one. So I'm gonna do like a video where I'm just gonna hang like a bunch of little papers cut up by two by ones, and just like just like hang them from the ceiling. I'm gonna show a video how to like <laughs> get like some knives and just start slicing, <laughs> and I know it's gonna sell. Dude, you can right. cut, you know it's what you gonna can... sell because the nerds will buy anything that's related <laughs> to ninjutsu. <laughs> and you know who you title it? How to murder the murder hornet. Exactly. Wasp jitsu. So wasp jitsu. Their nest can be underground. Oh great. The <laughs> yeah. And they uh there can be so much activity in the nest, it can generate up to eighty degrees Fahrenheit inside the nest. So that's how they find them is with thermal devices. But the but but here's the sad thing, we don't have the equipment or the money. You know what we should do to find. You know what these, we should do these killer hornets. We should quarantine we ourselves don't. inside for two weeks until we, the hornets we go need away. To. <laughs> we have That's, to wait till the government steps in. Yeah, and uh, hand out more bailouts to uh, to companies. Yeah, <laughs> for the big ones though. And to the, like big, the very Lakers. big ones. Yeah. Like dumb. Disney, because Disney needs a bailout. <laughs> they do. So, and the last note: traps are being set up to catch the hornets. The hornets will be affixed with a radio frequency tracker, and these things are so big that they can carry these little trackers on them, and they're fine. So, so we they're just gonna, want to track. We don't want to kill them. No, they're going to track them to the hive. That's how they're going to find the hives, and then they're going to go eliminate the hive. That's uh, that's a great idea. Because why <laughs> coronavirus spend, didn't work? So now they're yeah, sending out the okay, wasps. Yeah, because because why spend money that could that could like actually, you know, track these like, what do you call it, like uh, mon- uh, what is it, monomalies or something like you know where it's like going off. It's like okay, you know what? It's like hey, you know, like somewhere where something goes off, it's like okay, something's not right here. Yeah, because you know that's that's less expensive. So yeah. let's fork up some some real money and catch these fuckers and put a tracker on them. It's like Jesus. Yeah, it's crazy. So really quick. We're, this is double the length of what I like these episodes to be. It's cool though, but um, <laughs> so I just wanted to say there's one more story and it's already on my blog, so I want to just mention it. Bolivian light plane crash kills six, including four Spanish citizens. Two crew members of four Spanish citizens were being transported transported in a Beechcraft Baron B fifty five. Oh, this is a coronavirus story. So we don't need to talk about it. Poor souls. So did like six people die? Six people or died. Or did ten people die? Uh, six. 
like do the four coronavirus. Spanish tourists. Yeah. So ten? No, it was oh, two crew members okay, okay. and four <laughs> Spanish tourists. I was like, why are the Spanish tourists more special? <laughs> the <laughs> other six. They're, they're what were the other six? Were they just normal people? <laughs> <laughs> well, see, in those other countries, you know, Spanish are Europeans. Europeans are special people. Yep. They have everything right. Exactly. They do everything You ever right. seen them with Except Dunkirk? for their underwear. <laughs> you ever seen Dunkirk? <laughs> Dunkirk! Those right there things. shows you, you know, I was like, hey, instead of getting our man out of that little, out of that little, uh, what do you call it? Uh, where they were being surrounded, that little area, they decided to have some tea. <laughs> So you have some tea first. Sip up some tea. Yeah. Tip, sip up some tea. You got to be civilized during There's, war. Exactly. So thanks for uh, tuning into this extended news like, special news like edition 17.5 of Oh, It's On with Juan and Sean. If you want to contact us, please let us know what articles you would like us to review. What news you would like to review. Would you like more or less coronavirus? Go ahead and contact us on Twitter or Facebook at OIO pod or email us at OIO or oh, it's on pod at gmail.com. Any last words, Juan? He's laughing. Nope. He's laughing because I always mess up the email address. Any last words, Lane? Thank you for having me. This has been a 6969 Smooth Jazz. Thank you. Oh, turned on. And remember, the microphone could be on. <laughs>